My name is Tom, and I'm an alcoholic. I got sober uh, October 6th, 1996. I was drinking from an early age. I started off drinking when I was probably uh, 12 or 13 years old. Uh, I drank rather sociably, I would imagine, for the time of, that I had grown up in the um, early 70s. And uh, weekends were where I started most of my drinking. In my early days, I smoked a lot of pot and did some other stuff, but drinking was always my drug of choice. By the time I was 18 years old, I, uh, I was convinced in my mind that I had an alcohol problem, but I thought it to be rather humorous. Uh, I come from a family of alcoholics. My father was alcoholic, died when he was 63 of a heart attack. He was told on the day before he died after his heart attack that he had to quit drinking and quit smoking. And he had told the doctor he would quit smoking, but he was not going to give up the beer. And he went on his whole life thinking he wasn't an alcoholic, but yet drank a case of beer a day. So I believe alcoholism was the reason for his death, although the death certificate perhaps was uh, from the major heart attack that he had had. Um, that was in my mid-twenties, but I got married when I was 20 years old, and I drank alcoholically, I worked alcoholically, and I, I was a highly functioning alcoholic. I made a lot of money, did a lot of things, got married young. Um, I very rarely, in the beginning, would um, drink to the point that I was completely oblivious to what was going on, and if I did that, I would not be with my family or my kids or my wife, I would do that in a bar or, and not come home for the night because I knew I was ashamed of that type of behavior. I had been involved with a woman that I cared a great deal about and my children, of course, I didn't want to hurt them and I didn't want to be like my father was and I didn't want to be like my mother was and I wound up being, if not the same, probably worse. So um, I went on to drink weekends and then it worked into uh, almost every day. But until I was in my mid-30s, my alcoholism did not become what it had become as bad as it was. Um, by the time I, in my mid-30s, I had reached a level of financial success that I thought I had become something who I never was. And uh, I started to ex extend my drinking to longer amounts of time. I started to get involved outside the house with events that I should have never gotten involved with. Uh, other chemicals came into my, sh my life at that time. and. Uh, it was very difficult because I was balancing two lives and uh, I didn't really know what to do. I didn't address the alcoholism because it had become such a major part of my life, everything else was less important. I got sober later on, but I remember saying at that time, when I first got sober, I, when somebody had asked me about alcoholism and where I was at, I said I had five kids, so I had said that if I was on the edge of a cliff with my kids and I had a bottle of vodka in one hand and my other hand was free and they were falling, I would save one kid. I would never let go of that bottle. That's where alcoholism had took me. It was just like, that was just, I had to have that or I just felt like I couldn't breathe. But uh, in, in, the mid, uh, in the mid, in the mid eighties, I had had the five kids. I had the house and the, the dog and the cars and all this stuff. And uh, I was the last one to realize that my business was falling apart. I was the last one to realize that my kids were uh, very unhappy with their life due to my alcoholism. and. Uh, my, my wife was becoming more and more unhappy with my behavior and was not able to reach me anymore. I had become very distant in my addiction. My addiction had become so much my focus. And uh, in 19 something, I think it was 89, I had gone to um, a rehabilitation 12-step program in uh, Long Island, New York. And uh, I remember my son, he was 14 at the time, my older son, he came to me one day in, as this, this, they have this uh, family thing. And he came to me and he said to me, why do you drink? It's ruining our family. And I looked at him and that was the first time in many years that I was stuck because I was always easy, I was always quick to have an answer. Um, but I remember that particular question to be very difficult for me to answer. I looked at him in the eyes and I was like, I had no answer. I was like, I don't know, man. I said, let's keep walking, change the subject, get on with the day, uh, hold his hand, move on. And as it turned out, I didn't, I didn't have an answer because I was afraid to look at the question. And uh, 